I'm in the mood for cinnamon rolls. So I'm about to make these. These are pumpkin spice. Um, obviously, it's not fall season right now, but does that even matter? No. So these are the five. There's only five in here. They're the big ones. I haven't tried these before, but hopefully they taste good. Um, I need to use them before they're not good anymore. The weather this week has been so gloomy and um it's depressing it's depressing i don't know which way it's supposed to go does it matter oh gosh get on there Okay. The pumpkin spice is good. Ten out of ten. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So today is Thursday, and I am not feeling a hundred percent. I am feeling better. Like this whole week, I've been feeling pretty crappy, but I am feeling better today. And um, I decided that. I was gonna take half a day at work because I need to get it together so typical me though I can't just like lay down and do nothing I'm just gonna go get a few errands done I need to go to the store and get some wrapping paper and pick up a few things for this weekend because Maya's birthday party is on a Saturday and she's having some friends sleepover so I'm gonna go grab some stuff for that so the plan today is to get all this done before the kids get home from school they get home at like 3 20 3 30 so i need to go to target i need to go to old navy i need to go to bath and body works and i think that's it and i haven't eaten anything yet it's noon and i have not eaten anything at all except i took my vitamins without eating so that probably wasn't the best idea but I'm feeling okay enough to go run and get this stuff done and I need to get some medicine too because girl the natural way is not for me um so let's head out oh my god so update from the last vlog I have the same <laughs> I have the same sweater on that I had on two days ago so listen we wear our clothes over here this is like my favorite little pullover and it was the first thing I saw. It wasn't dirty. I only had it on for like 20 minutes. Nothing wrong with this. We wear our clothes over here. Um, uh, update from the other day. So I think I figured out why my mood was so off. Yes, it was because my cycle is coming. But also, there was a full moon last night. Um, what I found out is there was a full moon Thursday night no Wednesday night and the effects of that have been happening apparently this past few days and it makes a lot of sense so if you're somebody that's affected by the moon cycle you might be feeling off I know some people are like oh, I'm not into that it's all woo woo this that girl that stuff is real it's real um, and now that it's that time I, from what the TikTok people be saying because you know people go on TikTok they're saying that this is a full moon where I think it's in Gemini and Gemini is um, like it's all about communication so this is not the time to be starting arguments try to avoid arguments if you can which is what I've been doing 
I've been avoiding talking about certain topics with certain people because I know how those go. I've been keeping to myself. Me and my man not fighting. I don't need that. I do not need that right now. Because we were, okay, we were beefing. I'm going to have to tell y'all about that later. <laughs> we was beefing around Thanksgiving. I wouldn't even call it beef. And I had, I blocked his ass. And he was, he was I kicked, I kicked him to the curb. I'm going to tell y'all that story later. I'm going to give you the tea on that. What did I learn today? I learned that I'm no longer a size eight in jeans. If <laughs> they definitely, definitely not a size eight, they don't have any stretch, girl. I could, y'all saw I could get it on my thighs, but this booty, mm-mm. Them jeans said no, ma'am. But you know, damn, I should have the other way. That just means my booty is fit. Um, this is why I don't be wearing jeans for real for real because issues like this nothing wants to go over my butt cheeks and that one pair of jeans I tried on um, they fit but there was like this weird like extra material in the crotch area and I, th I think that's why they were $6.99 all them jeans did not fit right because they were on sale they was trying to get rid of them that's the thing like old navy jeans i have never had a good pair of jeans from old navy they never fit me right i'm back and i was this close to buying some candles and bath and body works because i did not think these were going to be here by now because i ordered candles on candle day and they were like 9.99 or whatever and low-key i was a little bit irritated because I wanted to order them online to pick up in store, but they weren't letting you do that on Candle Day. You could only, if you're ordering online, you had to get them shipped. And I wanted my candles like the next day. So, and they did not have free shipping either. I don't know. Bath and Body Works is about to stop getting money from me because they just don't have deals like they used to. Like, I just got some uh, lotion and body wash. Why is a body spray $17.50? like regular price i know they hike these prices up just to put them on sale like i'm tired of it so this might be the last time bath and body works gets something out of me but i did get some candles and i hope to god none of them are broken because i'm gonna be pissed if they are i'm glad i didn't buy any because i was about i was about to Oh, this one winter candy apple this is the best one that is one of the best smelling ones i got one uh from my mom too 
well, she doesn't like winter candy apple. I got her marshmallow fireside. So I have two winter candy apples, and then I got her a marshmallow fireside. And then I also got one more for me, which is sun drenched linen. It smells like laundry. I'm so glad I got that one. So I am really glad they're here. Because the way they were making it seem like was, oh, we got so many orders, we're going to be backed up. You might not get it until December 15th. This one, why is that like that? Is that, is that means broken? It's like moving around. I gotta make sure they're not broken or else it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, because I was, I got Christmas candles. I wanna smell them more than a week before Christmas. Perfect. None of them are broken. Oh, let me light one right now. I think I'm going to light, well, I already know I'm going to light winter candy out right now. I cannot wait for my house to smell like this. Sometimes. Why do you like that? Why do I like it? Cause it's quick. That's a good uh, food to eat when you're drunk. <laughs> we went to that Taco Bell bar, club, whatever that was. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that. Huh, you didn't know that was there either. My package definitely has been stolen. I ordered um, some stuff from Lululemon for Maya for Christmas. And they shipped in two separate packages. The first one I received fairly quickly um, after I ordered it. And it was left on my front door. So I'm waiting for one more thing to come, right? And I get a notification on... Tuesday saying that my package was delivered today's Thursday and I look out at my front door it's not at my front door so I'm thinking okay it's in my mailbox so I just went to my mailbox to go check and I'm thinking okay it wasn't in there and so I'm thinking maybe they put it in one of the bigger mailboxes because it didn't fit in my little one didn't have a key to get into the bigger mailbox so that means it's not in there so then I'm like where is my package because they said it was delivered. I live in the Kansas City area. So that's where my package should be delivered to. I go onto the website to track it and see where it was delivered to because it said it was delivered. The first package came through FedEx and they left it at my front door like they always do. The second one, which I don't know why it was shipped separately, whatever, they shipped that one through USPS. So I'm saying that it says the package was delivered on Tuesday, December 6th. Your package where your item was picked up at a postal facility on December 6th in Lockbourne, Ohio? How does that even happen? I don't live anywhere near Ohio. Why was my package even in Ohio, for starters? And I look on the thing and I can see like where it's been. So uh, it did arrive in Kansas City. So it went from Columbus to... Indianapolis and then it came to Kansas City and then it departed Kansas City and it went to Lockbourne, Ohio and that's where it was picked up. I don't want live chat. They literally do not have a phone number. Oh wait, I think I found it. They're about to get a phone call. Okay. <laughs> Update on the Lululemon situation. All is well. So what the girl told me, I called customer service and she was like, it looks like it got shipped back to the distribution center, the warehouse. And she said that was because when USPS got it, the reason why they returned it back is because like the label must have been 
damaged so they couldn't read it so they just sent it back so I was like okay fine that makes sense so she was like I can either well she said what they usually do when they get stuff back to the warehouse they just like put it back like in the stock so there's no guarantee that I would get my item back so I just had her refund me and she was like you know since you've been so understanding and you know, it's a holiday she gave me a $30 gift card so that works which is cool because I can like put that towards something else um so I just saved a little bit of money got a refund plus I got a $30 gift card so I'm gonna order something else and then yesterday when I went to go pick up um one of Jalen's presents which I got him a Tom Brady jersey I have to say that quietly because I don't want him to hear me but I got him a Tom Brady jersey and I did not want to buy that because I do not support Tom Brady but whatever so I ordered the jersey online from from Shields to pick up in store so when I bought it online it was $85 so I went to go pick it up yesterday and when I got the jersey I was like checking it and everything why does the tag say $59.99 so the online price, they had it at 85 but the price in the store was $60. I took that shirt right back in the store and got my money back. And I got $25 return. So two days in a row, I've been saving money. These are all good signs. I'll take it. Blessings in disguise. You know what I mean? Sorry, the lighting is horrible because I'm sitting in the dark. But blessings in disguise. Any little bit, I will take. So save $25 on that present and then um I got a $30 gift card for Lululemon and I'm gonna buy something else with that I need to buy it like today or tomorrow so that I can get it in time by Christmas because it was a Christmas present I called myself ordering stuff early and this is why you order early because you run into issues so I'm actually sitting down now to start editing this vlog so I can put it up tonight. I will see you guys in my next vlog. Thanks for watching.